name is Ethan DeYoung and welcome to the West Chesty Clothes. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to make paint. So a lot of people come into the store to make paint, get paint, but they don't actually know how to pick the paint. There's actually a lot of choices that are involved with getting the paint and how to make sure that uh, they get the correct paint. So at this store we sell Valspar and Sherman Williams paints. Those two are the most that we saw at this store. However, if you go to another store like Home Depot, they may vary. Now, what type of paint is there? Well, there's flat, eggshell, satin, and semi-gloss. Each one of those represents a different sheen. And later on, I'll show you what, that, what I actually mean by that. So, high-grade paint for Sherman Williams is Infinity. The high-grade paint for, for Valspar is Reserve. With how much money you want to spend, it could be, it could vary. You could go with Infinity or you can go with Reserve. However, each paint brand has a mid-grade and a low-grade paint. So, let me show you what I'm, I'm actually talking about. So what a signature satin base do you look like? So, this is our paint wall. This allows the customers to see whatever paint we sell in this store. As you see, the Sherman Williams Infinity is the biggest, which means it's the highest grade paint that we sell here. But for Valspar, it's Valspar Reserve. Each paint brand carries different weight. So, Infinity gives you extra long protection, but as you go down to mid grade and low grade, you will lose some. But, if we're going to pick Valspar Signature Satin, keep everything that you have. And Valspar Reserve. So, let's talk about the sheets. For interior paint, we have four, which is flat, eggshell, satin, and semi-gloss. But for exterior, we only have three. Flat, eggshell, flat, satin, and semi-gloss. We do not have eggshell in exterior paint. It's because it's closely related to flat. So, if you're painting a kitchen or a bedroom, you could use satin or semi-gloss because they're easy to clean. However, if you want flat, you could use that in an unused office space or a hallway. But if you want easy to clean, go with eggshell. For exterior paint, it's always best to go with satin or semi-gloss so it's easy to clean. So you don't get that chalky residue finish when you wipe your hand across a shutter, a door, or even a side. So, Let's talk about paint. Hi, um, I'm looking for a certain kind of paint, but I have no idea what I want. Sure. So, what type of paint are you looking for? High grade, mid grade, or low grade? High grade. All right, so do you want Valspar or Sherman Williams? I prefer Sherman Williams. All right, so that's going to be Valspar. That's going to be Sherman Williams today. So, what type of paint do you want? What type of paint do you want? Okay, so you want easy to clean or not so much? I like it to be easy to wipe down. Okay, so do you want shine or not so much? I do not mind shine, I would like down. Okay, so next time we're going to have a little more on the microwave and the microwave. Why don't you take a look at this and I'll get right back to you. So just like that, that's our average conversation with our customers to see how they want to make good things. So, let's make paint now. Since the customer wanted infinity satin, this is what she's gonna get. So she also said that she wanted agreeable gray. That's a very common color here at this store that we make a lot of. So, I'm gonna show you how to make paint. So, this is our Sherman Williams machine. It's one of the newest machines that we have in the store. It allows us to make all the Sherman Williams and the Valspar Reserve on it. So, let's go ahead and make it. So, right here, since I don't know the number for agreeable gray off the top of my head, I'm just going to type it in. There you go. Then you just plug and play. And once you get to this screen, it tells you what base you need. So since I already grabbed ultra white, then I'm going to verify the base.
this tells you where you bought it, the date, the formula that the paint is made, and the color, and everything that's on the can. This allows you to actually have the information on the can in case you lose the can, but you only have the lid. So, we recommend that you keep this on your phone, take a photo of it, anything in case you lose that barcode. So from here, we put it on the top of the lid, and then we hammer it down and put it in the shaker. So at this store, we have eight different shakers. We have two five-gallon shakers that can also be used for samples, gallons, and quarts. And then we also have four small one-gallon shakers. And we also have two in the back in case we get over. So you just put the can in the shaker, hit the green button for one minute, and then we let it shake. And after that, we're going to pull it out and I'll show you guys the color. So, once it's done shaking, you always want to put a sample on the top of the can so that customer can see the color. However, we do have some cases where customers say that that's not the right color. But remember, paint always dries darker. So, since the paint color is still wet in the can, it's going to look a little different. color. Agreeable gray with the information on top of the can. So once this is done, we always give them a free complimentary stick and anything else that they came to the store with. So we're going to go ahead and get to the car. Here you go ma'am. Have a great rest of your day.